Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First, let's look past my hair. I washed my hair this morning and let it air dry as I usually do, but for some reason today, the day that I'm filming, my hair is just deciding to expand as it dries. I'm filming a hair tutorial after this, so I needed my hair to air dry, so I wanted to film this look for you guys in the meantime. And I'm really excited for this look because I really wanted to play around with one of these beautiful shadows from Sigma, and the shadow palette that I chose was Ritzy. So it is more neutral, but I wanted to do something a little bit more cool toned. These palettes are so beautiful. I feel like these are going to be such great go-to palettes. I'm loving all of them and especially this palette right here, Ivy. This palette is speaking to me. The shadows are so beautiful. I love it. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Sigma Beauty Ritzy eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Nectar. With my Sigma E38 diffuse crease brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease all the way into the inner part of my crease and then I'm going to start winging the shadow out. I'm now going into Enrich, and then with my E25 blending brush, I'm going to start packing the shadow on the outer half of my lid, and then start doing little circular motions to start bringing this in through the crease. And I'm concentrating most of the darkness on the outer half of my crease, not much in the inner part yet. And then I'm going to start winging that shadow up, so I always go from the end of my lash line towards the tail of my brow and then back. So it's kind of like a little V. And then when there's barely anything left on the brush, I'm going to start bringing this towards the inner part. And then you can go back in and deepen this a little bit more. You can go as dark or as light as you want. And then of course going back into Nectar now with my E38 once again and buffing everything out. Just go back and forth at the high point of the crease and that's just going to nicely diffuse everything. Now I'm going to do the lower lash line before I finish off the lid, going into Nectar on my E54 medium sweeper brush, and now picking up Enrich and applying that just on the outer half of my lower lash line. For primer, I'm going to the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. I'm picking up the primer on my finger and just tapping that on the inner half of my lid. I'm picking up Gold Rush, now tapping that shadow over top of the primer. And then let's just tap to make sure that everything is blended. Now going into Gossamer. With my F70 concealer brush, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm going into the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Demolition. I'm going to line my upper waterline, and then line my lower waterline. I'm going to apply Mascara and False Lashes, and I'm going to Tati Lashes in TL19. And that's the I look done. For my lips, I'm going into the BH Cashmere Cream Comfort Lipstick in T. I haven't used this in a while. This was my go-to lipstick and shade, so I'm really excited to try it out again and see if I'm still really in love with it. And that's it. This is the completed look of my cool tone smoky eye using the Sigma Ritzy eyeshadow palette. I hope you enjoyed. I love how this look turned out. It was super quick and easy to do and also the palette was amazing. So pigmented and the shadows are so easy to blend. I'm so excited to keep playing around with the other palettes. Let me know down in the comments which other palette you want me to create a look with next. I can't wait to keep playing with them so I want to know what you want to see. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter that would be down in the box and also don't forget to follow me on TikTok. There is exclusive content on there that's nowhere else. <laughs> And all the products that I used today, along with the brushes that I used to create this look, will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!